Oh, uh, that was uh, just yeah. Go ahead. Practice. Just like saying, how how what do you think of today's practice? Yeah, you know, I thought uh, saw some good things both sides of the ball. Uh, we haven't done any red zone or situational work yet, so we kind of moved the ball and scrimmaged. Uh, there at the end, but anytime we got in the red zone, we'd stop it and turn it around. It really wasn't about all that kind of stuff. It was just seeing who could block, who could tackle, who could make plays. We did not have the quarterbacks live today. Uh, we will let them be live some this spring. Uh, I just believe in that, but they were not today. We probably will later on. Uh, I think we continue to improve at quarterback. I thought T. Will probably had his best day. Uh, he's really starting to learn the urgency we want. I thought Trey Lowe had an unbelievable week. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, e, e. Scott, uh, Lakevious Daniel, Natron Brooks, Cam Harrell, uh, uh, Smiley Robes, a lot of them guys are just competing their butt off at corner. And uh, they're getting to go against some really good guys and Brown Lee and, and Demo and, and, and DB and Shirty and those guys. And they, just the competitive nature of those kids every day continues to shine through. You know, you see, you see somebody like E. Scott make an unbelievable interception on a corner route on Brownlee. And then you see Brownlee come back a few plays later and beat him and make a big catch on a third down. And that's just good to see, you know. It's good to see these kids compete. Uh, you know, I think we're continuing to develop on, on, on the lines and on the line of scrimmages. I think we got a chance to be pretty good right there And uh, as we implement our schemes. And, man, we'll just keep rocking and rolling. We're 40% of the way through. It's happening fast. Coach, the, the second half of the, the scrimmage set, live scrimmage session, looks like you got a little bit going in the run game today. Yeah, you know, we're really hard to run the football on defensively. Uh, you know, we're getting that nasty bunch mentality back. We really outnumber the box. Coach Armstrong does a phenomenal job of outnumbering the box and uh, and, and, and blitzing, you know, a lot. And uh, so it's, it's hard to run on, you know, it really is. And that's why we hired him, right? He's a really good football coach. So, you know, uh, we were able to get a few runs there later on in the scrimmage, but but uh, we'll just have to go to the tape and see. I was just proud of uh, – just proud of how we competed. And, uh, you know, it was good to see both sides make some good plays there. Uh, Coach, Coach I uh, run up to Eric Scott at one point after interception. I think he was going against Brownlee. What, what, what did you what did you tell him there? Just an unbelievable play versus a good player. You know, that's what I – one thing I want these kids to understand is, you know, that is a really great football play he made, but he also did it against a really great football player that's proven. You know, that's one thing I was talking to Quan Bailey Brown about today. You know, he's got a chance to be a great player. But the only way – people are known as great players. Why? Because they made great plays. You know, LeBron James is a great player. Why? LeBron James made a lot of great plays. You don't just get to be a great player by not making great plays. And uh, so that's what I told E. Scott right there, man, is that was a great play against a great player. Okay, which means you're on your way to be a great player. That's how you become a great player and be known as that. Coach, I know it's early, but how did you feel uh, in the scrimmage? You got times you guys had at scrimmage. How did you feel execution was? Uh, early on, I thought it was not very good offensively. Uh, I'd have to ask Coach Armstrong defensively. I'd have to watch the tape. Later on, we settled down. Now, I thought early on in the day in the team run period, you know, offensively we were able to hit maybe three shots for touchdowns and get behind the defense. So I thought the defense did a great job of correcting that mid-practice because we did take those same shots again later on in the day and we're not able to hit them. And, uh, you know, so we saw some explosive plays early offensively in practice, and I thought the defense did a good job later on of shoring that up and preventing the big play. Uh, I saw you at one point, uh, it was a pass that was a little short and the receiver didn't really try to come up and get it. <laughs> I saw you uh, try to give a little example on what you wanted out of the receiver. What, uh, you know, do you, your physical energy, is that something that you want, you know, in practice, you want to kind of assert yourself and go out there and not be afraid to mix it up? Yeah, well, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words, right, Patrick? I mean, you know, I just want to make sure everybody out there understood and it's the effort we're looking for. And with, and, and with that young man, that was Daquan Bailey Brown. I got no problem telling you, I love that kid. He has great faith. He has great energy. He is going to be a great football player. But that's what I was telling him right there, Patrick, is to be known as a great player, you have to make the great play. And, you know, great players don't make the – I mean, you know, you don't get known as a great player by catching that ball that hits you right six inches in front of the numbers. You know, you become a great player by making the first guy miss every time, by making the great catch. 
by making the play that the average player can't make. And, uh, and so that's all I was doing right there, saying, hey, man, that's not the standard anymore, all right? The standard is not to go seven and five. That's not what Southern Miss does. It's not what we've ever been about. It's not what will ever be accepted here. And uh, we got we to make that great play, or at least do everything in our power to try. And I know he will. He responded phenomenal, and uh, he's going to be a really good player. He's a heck of a young man. I know he said out last season. Was it was it a, a, a phys, did he have an injury last year? I, don't, I never really got a chance to ask a question on that. Uh, it was it was transfer transfer eligibility coming from JUCO. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, just the man-to-man -man coverage. I know you mentioned that the uh, receivers were able to get behind those guys early on. So far, what are you seeing out of the man-to-man uh, -man coverage of the corners? Well, today, you know, early on it wasn't good, right? You know, I mean, we got behind them for some huge explosive plays, and that might have been bust. It might have been getting beat in man. We'll see it on the tape. But uh, I thought they shored it up late and really made some, uh, some good plays late. You know, when you play man, you're going to get beat some. You know, that's, that's just the way it goes. It's like, you know, a, a great free throw shooter, you know, eight or nine out of ten. He's still going to miss every now and then. So, the people are going to catch balls on you, but you got to be able to put it behind you and play one play at a time. And I thought those kids really did that today, and that's the type of culture we're trying to build. Uh, uh, T. Webb, would you describe his, his best attribute as a passer is just to touch on the ball, or what would you say uh, his strong point is? Yeah, accuracy, very catchable ball. And uh, he's an intelligent kid, too, you know. You can see he's getting more comfortable. Today was just his fifth practice. Remember, he had to miss day one with sickness. So, uh, as he gets more and more comfortable, I think he'll get more and more confident. And uh, we got a chance to have a really good quarterback room, uh, you know, with Trey and T. And then we get we get Ty Keys, you know, this summer, our signees. So, uh, you know, we should have a lot of good competition right there. Coach, I noticed y'all are giving Takeem Doss some looks out wide at tackle. Can you guys talk about that a little bit, please? Yeah, we've moved Takeem to tackle. Uh, he's at left tackle right now, and Kalik is at right tackle. Uh, can't say enough about Kalik uh, and what he's done through six practices. Uh, he's really come on as what I think can be an all-conference type performer if he keeps it on, him and Arvin. And, uh, you know, so we think our starting 5 line right now is playing really well. Uh, we've got to continue to add depth. Matthew Riles has really come on. It's been a pleasant surprise. Tanner Hawthorne has been a pleasant surprise. Cameron King has. And then, uh, you know, we got Coker Wright injured and not going. So we think we've built some good depth right there on the O-line through six practices. Some guys can play. That's good. Good. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Hey, guys, I really appreciate y'all as always. Uh, keep helping us sell what we're doing here because we're building this thing the right way. I'm telling you, we're treating these kids the right way and we're helping them grow as men. Keep helping us sell that to everybody to the top, baby. See you guys. Have a good one. Hey, how doing? Hey. Good, Trey. How's it going, man? Good, good. Yes, sir. Going well. Uh, Trey, how would you kind of rate your spring and how things have gone for you so far? Um, I think I've uh, just tried to be uh, very consistent. Uh, this spring, just trying to uh, just be consistent and stack days on top of days. Uh, um, but I think I've, I've been, I've, I've done, I've done decent. I've done decent. How much confidence did you take from that uh, season finale? And do you think that's kind of rolled over for you pretty well here in the spring? Uh, it's, it's helped a lot, you know, just getting that confidence going into the spring. Just, you know, that helps with anything when you do, when you do well, when you're trying to finish something. So it was good. Trey, it's Trey. It's got uh, for you. What's the feeling now? Where you're actually getting to go to a spring with the team. You're not going to be there a week after practice starts to start practicing. Do you feel like that that's just going to add more to your confidence? Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Oh yeah, this is uh, this is my first full spring. Uh, not playing baseball and not doing, you know, just this is my first in my whole entire life. So it's been, uh, it's been really good just focusing on uh, football. And, um, you know, this last year um, I got there, you know, I was, uh, I, I started practicing midway through fall camp. So I was just trying to learn and just grasp everything. So, you know, I'm, uh, 
I know everything. I'm confident in what I'm doing. So it's, it's been going well. Where do you want to progress the most this spring? What area do you think is, is, is the point of emphasis? Point of, point of emphasis? Um, I think, like I said, just trying to be consistent every day, just with my calls, uh, just checking, just uh, just making sure my eyes are in the right spot, just uh, doing what I need to do and uh, getting the ball to, to our playmakers. I think that's, that's just really the biggest thing. Uh, Trey, looks, looks like the install has gone pretty smooth for you guys. Can you talk about the, uh, the teaching and the transfer from classroom to the field? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Hall is a, a, a very good teacher. I think um, he spends a lot of time um, teaching us and, uh, and with the installs. He does a really good job of just going through the whole thing. So uh, I think it's helped everybody. And we, um, we even go through some of the install stuff uh, during individuals. So we're always, we're always working on it. And uh, so, we're, so we're, we're fine when we get to the field. So it's not as, it's not as hard of a transition. Uh, what, what's your relationship been like with Coach Hall so far, and uh, uh, what's your take on the, uh, the way he's been the last few months? Uh, I love Coach Hall. Um, he's, done a, he's done a great job, um, like I said, just installing everything and just teaching, teaching us. And he's, I mean, he's just, he's, just um, he's a down-to-earth guy. And, you know, he all, he's always bringing energy, and he's very positive and um, – you know, and I feel like he really, he really believes in us, the offense, and me, myself, personally. Trey, what is the biggest difference, so to say, in the offense that you ran last year and this one now? I mean, they're both the spread, but what, what's the biggest difference you've seen? I think out of the, the couple offenses I've had to learn, I think everybody kind of runs the same kind of stuff. It's just um, everybody just calls it different things. and. You know, people have different checks. Uh, you know, just just that kind of certain thing. And uh, but it's 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 really all the same. It's just different terminology, um, and and people run it differently. And we're a wide split team offensively. So this is my first time, you know, being a wide split team. So you know, a lot of bigger throws. Are you feel like the from the language aspect of it that you pretty much got that down? The um, you know, the different calls to make audibles different things you feel pretty good in that aspect i do i do i've been making uh i've been making a lot of the right calls and like i said i'm gonna just keep repeating just being just trying to be as consistent as possible um i've been i've been trying to make the right calls but i'm i'm learning i'm still learning but for the most part i've, I've gotten a lot of it down with the install uh trey i saw coach hall out there running up to guys at one point i saw him dive into the turf uh tell you guys. Uh, you know what? How would you describe Coach Hall during practice and the way he interacts with the guys? Oh, I mean, he's he's animated now. So he, um, like I said, he brings a lot of juice and he brings a lot of energy. So uh, he's gonna coach guys hard. But you know, everybody knows uh, everybody means well. So uh, you know, he's just loving up. It's just a different type of love. You know, he's just loving up on you. But uh, he's high fiving you right back when you do something well. So you know. I think I think everybody's reacted to him and the coaches very well, and I think we all really like, love the coaching staff, to be honest. 